Hey guys, how you guys doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live. We're here at uh, Villa 613 Casalinda. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what Casalinda looks like. This is phase six. They also have a phase seven and eight, and I believe they're even starting to build phase nine now, where you can actually buy your own villa. You can essentially create a villa from the ground up. You buy literally the land, and then you build your own home with your own style, your own color scheme, your own layout. Most company, uh, most of the properties here have pools. Obviously, we're in the Caribbean, so most people want their own private pool. And there are everything from two-bedroom villas to as many as seven bedroom villas here. There's staff everywhere, security, 24 hours security. Now this is phase six, so there's no opportunity to build any more properties here in phase six. But if you're looking to buy a villa and build your own villa, you could build in a new phase. Like I said, phase seven, eight, and nine, which is a whole nother phase, which to the right, once we get out here and we exit, there's a road to your right. You just take that road down and you can look at some of the villas in phase seven, eight, and nine, which maybe we'll do one of these days, but not today. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day today. I would say it's probably close to around 27, 28 degrees, maybe a little hotter. And there's a little bit of wind, which makes it nice. We're gonna do a drive to Sasua Beach, Playa Sasua. And we are right now at Casa Linda, which is in between Sasua and Cabarete. Ciao, amigo. As you can see, these are they're probably going to phase 789 down that road to your right. This is one of the offices in Casa Linda. And this is the road that will take us to the main road, which I believe is Highway 5. Highway number 5. And then we'll take a left, which will take us to Susua Beach. And it should only take us a few minutes to get to Susua Beach. It's not that far away. So anybody wants to know, like literally door to door from Villa 613 Casalinda to Playa Susu, exactly how long it will take, we're literally gonna do it right now. We'll time it. Now one of the things that I've been talking about is I don't understand how, you can see how the cows are. It's just, it's just different, you know, it's not, I'm not accustomed to these methods of farming. And this is what I'm saying needs to be addressed here in this country, because this is a beautiful country that has so much potential. But in so many ways, they're so far behind. In some ways, they're very far ahead, like as far as they have great weather. So in North America, we're all searching for this weather. We don't have it. We ha they have something that we all want. I mean, unless you live in Florida or California, or one of those states where the weather's nice literally all year long, you can't really beat this, this weather. This weather is the best, the most tropical, the best weather I've ever seen in any country I've ever been to. I mean, it's pretty much perfect all year long. But you can see all the shops, you can see the poverty. There's beautiful properties and big shops and gas stations amongst the poverty everywhere. So there's a lot of social economic issues. Now we're working with a company named Dorian, and uh, they have two tokens, the Dornex token and the Sobs tokens. And I'm trying to find some government officials that have at least 15 years of experience in a certain field of social economic focus. And if I can find that person and I can identify someone or a few people somewhere, whether it's the Dominican Republic or anywhere, that would be interested in working with Doria and the Dornex through the Dornex and the Sobs tokens. Then those tokens can be used to fund projects, to build schools, to create clean drinking water, to creating better infrastructure, better roads more jobs, reducing the unemployment rate. There's a lot of issues that need to be addressed here in these countries. But yet, the people are beautiful people. It's a great country. They make the most with what they have. 
But as you can see, like we've been driving for some time, you don't see any lights. There's no stops, there's no lights, there's no, there's very, there's a big lack of infrastructure. But this is a very large island and there's a lot of people and they deserve to have the same opportunities that everybody else has in first world countries. And in some ways, I don't feel like they're very far behind. In some ways, I feel like they're ahead, but then in some ways, I know that they're very far behind. And a lot of the houses here are protected with bars and chains and broken glass that they put on the top of their walls to try to protect the intruders from getting in. And the question is, why is there so many intruders that are trying to get in? Is because these people are starving. You know? So there's a lot of money and the, the gap between the rich and poor is very large. And they're beautiful people and they enjoy life and they, they really appreciate culture and family. But you can see, like this is a garage, like this is where you would get your car fixed. I mean, it doesn't look that different than a mechanic shop in North America, in some ways. In some ways, it's very different. I don't know, it's like a hobby to me. Like, I don't know what I just did there, but... Like, people are just driving like maniacs everywhere. This is pretty normal. This is like, like there's no stop signs, and there's no lights. And even where there is stop signs, nobody really stops. So you don't know if you're supposed to stop or not. And then if you try to stop, then people will start honking horns and crash into you. We got here's a stop light. We've been driving for how long? We've got our first stop light. But usually people don't really even stop at that light. It just kind of depends. Whoa, look at this. Watch these turns. Okay, so we're coming to Playa de Sur right here. We're right coming up to Playa de Sur right now. In that little spot, I need it. Again, it's a nice little spot. He's giving you instructions. <laughs> this is the parking. <laughs> this guy's. Thanks, bro. Okay, bro. No problem. We watch for you, bro. Yeah, you know the, you know the drill. The guy, bro, bro, please. Yeah, yeah, you know. I gave you last time. We do this, right? Yeah. We do this. We know how to do this. Okay, yeah. so 100 pesos. I give you 100 on the way back. back. You watch okay. my car, okay? Yeah, we watch you, bro. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Yeah. That's how it works here. Just like that in the Dominican. You know, he has a security shirt. And uh, he has a security shirt, but at the end of the day, he doesn't, um, he doesn't really officially work for anybody. <laughs> he just works here. And that's kind of the way it goes. Alright guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live. We're going to Pai Sasua. I'll make some videos when I get there. Peace.